boys and girls, time for social studies. You have a paper like this in your Thursday packet. Go ahead and press pause and get that out and come back and see me when you're ready. So this says, Studies Weekly, First Grade Studies Weekly. Welcome to first grade. You're in first grade. Welcome to a new year at school. Studies Weekly will help you have fun and learn new things. We're gonna do that. So I have it pulled up on our screen. See, it's that same little boy. Welcome to a new year at school. Studies Weekly will help you have fun and learn new things. You can find this same picture inside your booklet. And I'm going to have it read you what it says. The word liberty means freedom. If you live in America, you can celebrate freedom. Can you find the word liberty in the words to the Pledge of Allegiance? We'll have to see. Here is the Pledge of Allegiance. Listen for the word liberty. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. When you say the Pledge of Allegiance, you promise to be loyal to our country. I have a video for you about the Pledge of Allegiance. We say it every morning in school. We're all familiar with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What does the pledge really mean? It is basically a promise of dedication or faithfulness to the United States. To pledge allegiance to something is to promise your loyalty to it. In this case, you're pledging allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The flag is a symbol of our country. By pledging allegiance to our flag, you are promising to be loyal to the United States of America throughout your life. The pledge should be recited while standing at attention, facing the flag with the right hand over the heart. Men should remove non-religious headwear and hold it to their left shoulder with the hand over the heart. Anyone in a military uniform should face the flag and remain silent, giving the military salute. The pledge is recited at the beginning of congressional sessions, the beginning of many local government meetings, and often at the beginning of school. Many states have adopted pledges to their own flags that are recited as well, including Ohio and Texas. All right, next page, we're looking at the part where it has this flag. Let's find out what it says. When our country began, there were only 13 states. Our first flag had 13 stars and 13 stripes. Today, there are 50 states in our country. Now, our flag has 13 stripes and 50 stars. And here is a video about the flag. <laughs> Our flag has not always looked like it does today. The 13 red and white stripes have been part of old glory since 1776, but the rest of the flag has changed over time. 
In 1777, Congress passed the following, June 14th, resolved that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field, representing a new constellation. With each new state, another star was added. When World War II began in 1941, our flag had grown from 13 stars to 48. In 1959 and 1960, Alaska and Hawaii were granted statehood, and two new stars were added, bringing the total to 50 stars on today's flag. Now, over 200 years later, the American flag still waves as a symbol of freedom. All right. Moving on to the next part, you should be able to find this picture in your booklet too. This is about what's happening on Monday when we don't have school. That's a holiday. The first Labor Day was celebrated in New York City more than 100 years ago. Schools and government offices are closed on Labor Day to honor America's workers. What does your family do on Labor Day? Hmm, are you doing anything fun on Labor Day? We're going to have a barbecue with my family, with my parents. And find this picture and let's find out about it. There are many ways to be kind to others. You can help a friend or a neighbor. You can smile at a new student in your class. What other ways can you be kind to others? I want you to think about that. Think to yourself, how can I be kind to others? And we're going to the back cover of your booklet, like this, the back cover. And we're going to look at the pictures in each row. And I want you to X out the one that does not belong. So in the top row, we have a desk, a horse, a cup of pencils, a chalkboard, and a globe. Looks like these all might be school things to me. Is there something in that row that is not for school? If you can't see it very well on the board right here, what thing in this top row is not for school? Look at the pictures in each row. Write an X on the picture that does not belong. Color the pictures that belong in each row. So after you X out the, run, the one that does not belong, color the ones that do belong. And I want nice, neat, first grade coloring. In the bottom row, we have a slide, a basketball hoop, swings, an airplane, and a sandbox. Mm, these might be playground things. What thing does not go on a playground? X it out and color the things that do belong. And then... We are going to color the picture of the flag. It's color by numbers. Use the color code to color the hidden picture. One, red. Two, white. Three, blue. So you're going to go ahead and color this flag in red, white, and blue and use the code to help you. Spaces with a 1 are red, spaces with a 2 are white, and spaces with a 3 are blue. Yeah, my paper ripped, sorry. And this is the last thing in our booklet. Hi! This year, Studies Weekly will tell you the story of our amazing country, the United States of America. You will learn about some American heroes and how they helped America become a great country. We hope you enjoy reading our American stories.
All right. That was some fun social studies today. Have a great day. Bye.